Hello everyone, welcome to my High Celebrities News Channel. The story for today is Sir Paul McCartney and his wife Nancy Shevel looked relaxed as they took a dip in the Caribbean Sea while holidaying in St. Bart's on Tuesday. The former Beatle, 79, and businesswoman Nancy, 62, hit the beach with Nancy's son Arlen, 29, from her relationship with politician Bruce Blakeman. Protecting his fair skin from the strong sunshine, Sir Paul wore a navy blue t-shirt as he headed for a swim, while Nancy put on a leggy display in black thigh skimming shorts. Paul teamed the look with tie-dye blue and white swimming shorts as he played about in the clear water and at one point dived into a wave as it crested before crashing onto the golden sandy beach. The Beatles legend was dripping from head to toe as he headed back to his group of pals and roughly towel dried his hair, while Nancy chatted away. The businesswoman was in good spirits as she strolled across the beach, in her all-black ensemble which comprised of a black long-sleeve top, a pair of matching shorts and a straw hat. American Nancy, who is the vice president of her family transportation services business The Shevel Group, sheltered her eyes behind a pair of dark sunglasses. Nancy looked content watching her partner Paul as he went for his swim, with the star almost falling into the water at one point before catching his balance. He looked relaxed as he lay on the surface of the Azure Sea before later performing a variety of swimming strokes as Arlen swam nearby. Nancy waved at her family as she stood in the shallow surf before Paul returned to the shore to wrap himself in a towel. Sir Paul and Nancy have been together since 2007 and married in a ceremony held in Marylebone four years later in 2011. It's thought Sir Paul and Nancy first met thanks to both owning homes in the Hamptons. Sir Paul was previously married twice before, he wed first wife Linda in 1969 and the pair were married until Linda died, aged 56, in 1998, following a battle with breast cancer. Paul and Linda share four children, daughters Heather, Mary and Stella, and son James. He later wed second wife Heather Mills, who he shares daughter Beatrice with. In 2002 they split four years later in 2006 and the divorce, costing the star £24. Three million, was finalized in 2008. Sir Paul and Nancy's holiday comes after it emerged Sir Paul is being considered for a peerage to mark his 80th birthday this summer. The Beatles legend could be made a lord in recognition of his lifetime of musical achievements and service to British culture. The Sun reports that sources are saying the prestigious honour is in the pipeline, 25 years after he was first knighted by the Queen. If he is awarded with the title, he will join a very select group of musicians, including theatre mogul Andrew Lloyd Webber, 73, composer the late Benjamin Britten and late violin virtuoso Yehudi Menuhin. A source told the publication, Paul is already in an extraordinarily exclusive set of people at the very top of the honors system. There is now quiet talk among officials about how to mark his 80th with something truly special. The idea of offering him the chance to sit as a crossbencher in the Lords has been mooted. He has given incredible service to British culture, so it could be a very fitting tribute and mark of all that he has done for his country. His knighthood was upgraded in 2018 to admit Sir Paul to the even rarer order of the Companions of Honor, of which there are only 61 living members. At the time Sir Paul said, I see this as a huge honor for me and my family and I think of how proud my Liverpool mum and dad would have been to see this. It comes as Sir Paul is set to headline at Glastonbury a week after turning 80 making him the oldest act to ever headline the West Country Festival. He confirmed he will headline the prestigious festival by sharing a cryptic post on his Twitter page last month. The musician's tweet showed a score for popular online puzzle Wordle along with six green squares, which read, Wordle 121 and 25 sixths. Eagle-eyed music fans noted that Wordle scores only consist of five letters, sparking speculation that the word Maca was referring to was in fact Blasto. Others noticed that it is 121 days from today until the festival and 25 sixths was predicted to represent Saturday June 25th the day the star will perform. That is all for today news, thank you for watching to my channel, please be sure to leave your comment and subscribe below for more news update.